Hi, this is Erica. Since I'm not going to be there for your delivery tomorrow, I just wanted to go over everything with you. Um, you'll be getting this bag. We've got food in here for Faye. This is what we've been feeding her. So we've included four bags of food, so that should be plenty for you to be able to use it for a couple days and then transition onto whatever you'd like to feed. Um, we've also included a cow huff. This is one of my favorite dog chews ever. It is exactly what I said. It is a natural cow huff from a cow. Um, I find that they last forever. The dogs love them. Occasionally, they can be very smelly when um, they're chewed on. So if that happens to be the case, you can always save it for bedtime or sometime when you're not um, right in the room with her. But they're very entertaining. Oh, you can also fill them with peanut butter and you can put them in the freezer um, or just fill it with peanut butter. But you can also fill it with peanut butter and put it in the freezer to create a longer lasting um, treat for for her. So this is your paperwork. We're a preferred breeder with True Panion, so there is a go-home offer. I'm honestly not sure that it applies to the older puppies. However, I do really recommend having pet insurance. Um, things come up. You know there can be accidents. The, your puppy can jump off of something and land the wrong way and break their leg, or um, just, just random fluke accidents can happen, and those vet bills can add up quickly, especially if you have to go to an emergency vet. Pet insurance wasn't that big of a deal not that many years ago, but it's a big deal now. And veterinarians have caught on that most people have pet insurance and their prices have gone up accordingly, not unlike our own medical system for humans. So because of that, I think it's a really good idea to carry pet insurance because if you have an emergency vet visit, you're probably not looking at less than $1,000. Um, so definitely something worth looking into to see if that might be something that would be a good fit for you. You'll have your AKC paperwork here in your folder. You can also register online, um, and it does go over that here somewhere. I'm trying to remember exactly where they move it around. Oh, just right up there at the top, register online. So that's how you can register online if you'd like to. Um, because Faye is older and she's one of our started puppies, she's coming with her rabies vaccine. And then here is our medical records for her. This is what you'll give your veterinarian. And based on this, they will know exactly what to do for her continued deworming and vaccination schedule. We did do a fecal check on Faye this week just to make sure everything was fine. And she has no worms, um, which we would have expected based on our deworming. But I just like to make sure before puppies go home that everything's in great shape. So that is all of that. I included these. Um, I love keeping these on hand. This is called Prina Proplan Fortiflora, and it's a probiotic, and it really helps if, um, it just helps in times of transition. So it's very stressful. I shouldn't say very. It can be stressful for the puppies to go home. Not like they're not happy, but it's an entirely new environment, and they're um, bodies, you know, might take that a little hard. So sometimes they can get the runs. I find putting a half a packet to a packet on their food every day for the first several days just really helps them not develop the runs, helps keep the bowels moving the way that they should be. Also keeping them on the food that we provide for the first few days is really important um, for their digestive system so that they don't run into more problems. So that will be in this little pouch and that will be in your bag also. And then we also include a blanket that kind of smells like us. Some puppies like this more than others. Some find it very comforting and some don't really care at all. But um, just in case that that'll be something that she appreciates, um, that'll be in there for you. So that's kind of a rundown on what you'll find in our go home bags. Um, this is specifically for Faye's new family. Um, but if you're just watching this video to find out what we put in our go home bags, that is very similar. Obviously, very young puppies will not have rabies vaccinations. Um, and they might not be finished on their parvo vaccinations as those can't be finished until the puppy is over 16 weeks old. Faye and our started puppies have finished their parvo series, so they're ready to go out and about with you in public from day one. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us, and we wish you and Faye all of the best.